Hey guys, it's New Hell again, coming back at you with another Boom Beach video. These are just not going to stop, guys. So, I've definitely got some news to share with you. Um, look what happened to the operation, guys. Oh, well, oh my goodness, I guess the time's already over, but guys, we got it. Tinderbox down. Uh, tonight's video is going to be showcasing some of the uh, the memorable attacks from, from this beautiful progression point that our, our task force made. I'm so proud of these guys. We did an awesome job. Um, the, you can tell the morale is really picked up uh, when, when that kind of thing happens. It's great. It's great to be a part of. Um, so here's the task force game, guys. Uh, Drunken Stone. That's us. There's our task force tag. Whoop, let me not block it. Um, can I just not click on that stuff? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> where was I? I'm my only friend. Isn't that pathetic? Okay, here we go. Um, I'm just not being on social media. That's all it is. Um, although I'm kind of getting there, huh? Uh... Anyway, uh, yeah, there's our tag, guys. Come join us. Look, we've got uh, 35 open slots. Thing is, we just we just ask that you you be here, uh, you be nice, you uh, and you participate in attacks, you know, and and you try to do good. Uh, we're we're a pretty easy uh, going group of guys, but we we purge regularly if people aren't just being active. That's that's all we ask. So come join us, guys. We have a lot of fun now. Um, I have to share with you guys another replay. I just did this. You might notice the statues are boosted. I'm probably going to do another video tonight of just clearing my map or who knows what yet. But I boosted my statues because uh, a good guildmate of mine or uh, clanmate, whatever the heck we're in, Task Force Quest, uh, he was showing an attack that he attempted on Gearheart earlier tonight. And uh, you know what? I liked it so much. I'm just going to go in four times because you're going to see it again here where I do it. There's just going to be one difference between uh, him and me. <laughs> I get it down. Oh, I'm giving it away already. But I want to show you that uh, Gearheart goes down in one attack today. And it was thanks to Quest for showing me that. He says, uh, I could have done a one-hitter if I had boosted. So I basically took his advice, guys. And uh, and here it is. Here it is. So um, this is the one shot on Gear uh, Gearheart today. Uh, done by New Hill. Thanks to uh, Quest for showing me the path. And uh, here we go. We'll go in two times. I think you already know it's going to come. We're just smoking our way up. Now, this was my first attack tonight. I just got on the game right before starting this recording. Um, and I thought I was going to do this because I, uh, uh, I wanted to get this before the time ran out. Now, notice I, I peaked. I got roasted a bit. I didn't care. Um, really didn't care. I know that I'm going to drop a heal. I got the, the uh, battle orders coming up. Or not battle orders. Good. Taunt. Taunt is coming up. And... Um, getting the shocks out, a little bit slow, uh, you know what, I don't mind though, I know this is actually going to be in for the long haul. I am pacing myself for a long fight, but that, that was a mistake, I'm not trying to sugarcoat it, maybe I am, but I wasn't worried about it, is, is the real point here. And, uh, there's another heal that goes down, you see, we're just trying to keep as many warriors up as alive, there's another taunt that went out as well, bullet is getting really low, he's so hard to see with all his smoke and fire and everything. I, I kind of wish they'd fix that because his health bar is a very important thing to be able to pay attention to and I, I don't like how the, the graphics of the defenses can get on top of that health bar. I really think that that's something they should fix in an update. I hope they do because that would be a really nice quality of life improvement for his life. But you see guys, look, it goes down. One shot. One shot on Gearheart. You know, all those people that like to play Zookas and everything, it's great. Zookas are awesome. I know, I know. But the game has changed now. Bullet is here, guys. This taunt is amazing. Bullet and Warriors are like, you know, peanut butter and jelly. What, what can I tell you? What can I tell you? Um, but uh, what I really want to show you is uh, I want to recap just a couple of these attacks. I want to go into a... Uh, actually, the first one I wanted to hit was... Um, do, 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 do. Quests. Quests attack last night. Uh, I showed the aftermath of his attack. Well, I want to show you how he got it done. Um, it was a team ed with a uh, bullet, I believe. So he's opening up with double shots. He's very afraid of the uh, of the grapplers. I, I would be too. I, I really hate them. And it's such a it's such a heavy price to pay when you're rolling tanks because it's uh, so many cargo spaces. There's eight eight cargo spaces or eight troop spases for a tank. So that's like he gets like an eight for one special when he takes a grab on a tank. So I totally understand uh, you know, the trepidation there. Um, I'm the same way. Uh, but look at that, he takes both of them out, so now, now he's clear, now he's doing his team ed thing, you know, working out, farming some GBE, um, everything's quite well managed, just going with the flow at this point, he's dumping the GBE on the, uh, Notorious Shock Blaster up there, uh, we don't, we don't like those things, nobody does, um, well, Smoky Troops tend to not care as much, but, um, they, they, they can eat up anybody or anything, doesn't matter what, what you're bringing, 
Um, unless maybe you're bringing a bunch of riflemen or something, uh, then, then maybe it's a different story. But I digress, guys. Look at this, he's moving in, he's just, he's just methodic, clearing out the whole, the whole base here. Uh, well, the, the opening it up, um, for the subsequent attacks. But, um, you know, Shock Blaster goes down, so that's, that's important. And, uh, at this point, it's a little bit, um, you know, we're just gonna go in four times, just to, cause it's, the action's getting slow because of the shocks, basically, so, uh, but that's, that's just the way it goes, I'm sure his GBE was, was extremely low, um, it always is at this point in the fight, you know, but that's, when you're doing a fight like a team net or something too, you really need to pace yourself for, um, for, for the long haul, for the four minute fight, and, um, you should always be aware of that, you need to use all the time, all the time effectively, and he did a great job, and you notice he did a retreat right there, but it was only because, he had nothing but medics. That's fine. That's, that's actually perfect. You know, save the medics, guys. I kill them all the time with my bullets. The uh, best combo that I use. But um, as long as if all your offensive troops are down, that's exactly what we expect. You can retreat at that point. But nobody ever, ever retreats until all their offensive troops are dead. So a very good uh, attack by Quest on Stranger Tractors. Oh, let's show you the follow-up by uh, Grant Us a Wish. Um, also coming in with a team med. And uh, here we go. We'll take this on four times. Um, and yep, working on that shock launcher, like I mentioned last night in the previous video, it's basically all that had to go down here was the shock launcher and the uh, rocket launcher, and, um, I mean, it's just, you know, pretty much, pretty obvious, right? Looks like that's what he was going for, yeah, and that's exactly what goes down. Um, it's just a matter of time on this, I don't think there's anything too much to, uh, to observe. He's out of range of the grapplers, uh, the cannon's going, um, I think you guys know what, what's coming next, so, uh, so basically, that's that's all that's all you got to worry about on these things, and um, I think I think as we go forward, we'll find that uh, we'll have some more interesting content to share with you. Now, um, sorry, I was having to change the music there. A little bit of a weird thing happened. Um, I'm not quite into video editing yet, so I'm trying to do all this stuff live, guys. Uh, what do we want to see? What I want to see was ribbon cable. Because you know what? That's what we left up last night. I haven't even watched this yet. So let's watch it together. Looks like we have another uh, another Noah's Ark attack coming in by J-Rock here. He's going to open this up with the Noah's Ark. Now this guy, I'll be honest, he is... Like, I thought he was a bit a bit different by using this style of attack. But he promotes this attack. He he promotes this like I kind of promote my bullet's best attack. He is a real fan. And so I'll tell you what... There's more than meets the eye to uh, to how he pulls this stuff off because um, I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna see something uh, pretty pretty good with the Noah's Ark. Each troop kind of has their own role in this configuration. Uh, as he's coming in, of course you got to shock that huge battery of shock launchers. That's just that's gonna tear up any troop. I don't care what you're coming with. That thing has to be shocked. Um, he's working it though. You know you got those cryos keeping him cold, keeping him slow. So now he's just kind of relying on the uh, the cryo ability there, and uh, you got the medics in the back to kind of supplement with some little spot heals here and there. Man, there's critters everywhere, huh? Total critter fiesta. Yeah, you see the one thing, is he rolling grins? Probably not, because the critters would be dead. Or maybe his grins are dead. But yeah, you see, grins are usually the death of critters. Uh, that's a whole different topic I want to get into in a future video of how to use critters with grins. It's a problem I experience a lot. But anyway. Grins are not here, so critters are safe, but uh, there's going to be mines everywhere, too. It's another cost you pay without having Grins. But the critters will take care of the mines, and he moves right in. Now, look at this. He's working on the... Uh, oh, I see what he's doing. He's going to come over here and take out the shield generator, so it's a good call. Now, the shock launcher over here is doing some work to his troops. Um, again, I, I would imagine GBE is low. We're already under the one-minute remaining mark here. Uh, this is a great fight in the sense, look, he's, he's going to go the distance. He's going to pace himself the whole way, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Like, everyone is Zuka this, Zuka that. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. At the higher levels, that's the only way to get it done. But at these levels, it, anything goes. And that's really the best because that's what inspires creativity. And to always be locked into the same troop combo all the time, it's a little bit, like, old and boring. I can understand why people get burned out. You know, I can understand why YouTubers get burned out. If they're doing the same stuff over and over again, it gets boring. Come on, it's just natural. So, I like I like how we, we kind of keep it fresh and lively here, but we always push for progression. You know, we always push. We need more members, though, guys. So, please come join us. Uh, if You know, the thing is, anyone watching these videos, I know... You're gonna, you're gonna have people in your, you're gonna be very committed to the task force already. You have to be committed to the game to even care about it as much to find some obscure YouTuber like myself. But, uh, I'm gonna plug the guild either way, um, or the, the task force either way, and, uh, it's all good, you know? Come join us. 
Um, now here we go, we're watching uh, Al Capone's attack, the follow-up attack here on Ribbon Cable. He's coming in with a, a lot of heavies, like, he's going heavy, heavy, Zuka, uh, with, with uh, Brick on the side, huh? Well, it's actually right in the middle. Now, um, the Zukas are going to take a little, oh, oh, good, good little flare. Now, where's he going? I hope he doesn't take too many losses on this reflare, but some smoke might have been advisable here. Um... But you know what he got up there? The most important thing is the Zookas, okay? That's the DPS. I don't know what happened to his heavies. I think his heavies just uh, went on vacation or something. All those heavies that we saw are gone, guys. Um, let's go to four times. He's doing some GBE farming. I uh, worked on the, uh, the shield generators. Those are down. So the shields are down. So first attack, uh, open her up quite well. Shields, uh, the first big battery of shields go down. Al Capone comes in. Gets down the second part of the shields and creates another hole. I think I think we know what's coming next. But this this was the one that did it, guys. This was our progression point. This was done by uh, Senkina. Never sure how to pronounce these names. I was reading them in my head, but now I'm actually having to say them. Um, here we go. Gonna go on four times. Uh, another heavy Zuka layout. By the way, you know I mean we have a tribe boost this week, guys. So it just kind of kind of makes sense to use heavies and Zukas too. I mean when it makes sense. But here it's just a. You know, we're just going to polish this off, and we're going to call it GG, and uh, here's where we've progressed. So, great job to everyone in the uh, task force, and I look forward to uh, to our next one, guys. As always, uh, for you watch people watching the video, thanks for watching. Um, it is Boom Be Beach Month, so you have got to uh, try to sp uh, spread this word. Spread the game to others. Spread the word, guys. Share this with your friends. Uh, try to get them to download it over the holidays when you're there with your family and stuff. Uh, because we got to keep this game going. You know, Supercell doesn't seem to be doing advertising on it right now. So uh, we've got a really good core group of... Uh, uh, good community, a good core group of people. We've got lots of task force, not just like this that I'm in, but I'm sure there are others, okay? Um, and we got to keep that going. And uh, it's important to have new interests as well, though, because you know some of these members will fade off over time. So the only way to keep something going is to generate that interest. So that's why uh, December is Boom Beach Month, and that's why you should really do your best to support it, promote it. Just try to get a friend to download it. Maybe they like it, maybe they don't. Um, whatever. Just get them to do it. Spark that interest again, because it's going to help all of us that care so much about this game to keep it going even longer for you guys. Ah, that was a lot to say. But um, anyway, as always, have a great day and uh, be kind to others.